These are called rickrack scissors or pinking shears. Anyone can sew. This is all hand sewing. This is easy to make, look. At least that's what Shannon Albright says. That's zen-like right there. Very zen. And then I'm coming back or going? Back. And I'll admit it, after one lesson, I was even a little excited about my backstitch during a sewing session with these fourth and fifth graders. I love the art and freedom of hand sewing. Aww. So can everybody come and make a bird, or do you want me to send home a bird with you? Albright has devoted her life to teaching the art of hand stitching and embroidery to children of all ages. My love is children and sewing, and so this is really, it's a dream come true for me. That was the primary reason she started regular stitching sessions in her home. So my mom was like, okay, Dylan, you're going to a sewing camp. So uh, she brought me here the first day and I loved it from the very beginning. Kids sit around her dining room table and explore the world through a needle and thread. So far, I've made almost all the projects Miss Shannon has, like foxes and monkeys and monsters and a little puppy dog and stuff like that. And so I feel like the parents are happy that after school we're sitting around in a circle, there isn't a lot of stress, and we're just sewing and making great things. You might say sewing is in her blood. I'm a fifth generation quilter and knitter, and it's sort of in my DNA to sew. And I've been sewing since I was really little. But it's more than just the simple skill of sewing these kids are picking up at this table. There's something that happens when we're in a circle and we're sewing that makes children talk. So, making some progress here on my backstitch, but it's more than just sewing with a needle and thread. It's a social setting. It's a chance to chat and connect. Right, ladies? Yeah. Yes. yeah. And so they come to class and they tell me their stories. They tell me their stress. They tell me things going on with them. Albright Sewing School has been so successful, she's taken the craft on the road. She teaches sewing as an after-school enrichment at several local schools. Most every student ends up loving the skill. And I always tell them, you're going to be nervous for five minutes. Like, you won't know what to do for five minutes. Then I'm going to teach you, and you'll be confident, and you'll be fine. So whether it's the dolphin, split, the whip, or the herringbone, it doesn't make a difference what stitch you use as long as you open your mind to the possibilities. Nowadays, you know, children can do anything on a computer or just anything, um, but they're not making things. And so when they learn how to sew, they actually have control over their own creative lives. And then we'll... Albright, who seems like a really nice person, doesn't she? Oh, she you? really does, yeah. Paul, yeah. Well, she just opened a storefront in North Hollywood. For more information or to see more California Dreams, just go to cbsla.com slash California Dreams.